on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited were you when you saw that? A series is coming from the creators of Game of Thrones. I was interested, I wasn't excited because when I got to check I, I saw that it's science fiction and this is not just science fiction, this is science fiction that is kind of realistic. When I also it was a book, I said, oh, I'm not reading this book because not my scene. I was pretty excited that a series from the creators of Game of Thrones, that was one of the things that really used to sell this series yeah. out. I think it made me kind of skeptical. The movies that they, they push this way that oh from the creator of so so and yeah. so well they don't end up doing as well as that other show yeah, that they yeah, made. Yeah. It's one of my most anticipated series this year and this series actually unfolds with two different timelines first of all we're taking to china in 1960 then we have the present day timeline in 1966 during the cultural chinese revolution we see ye wenji witnessed the death of her father her father was brutally struck in the head her father was a scientist or a physicist before he died and the people that actually even killed him were his students during this time so after seven at a work camp and doing some time in prison Ye was just really a very quiet person upset with life so after serving this prison she was taken to this private scientific space and during her time here she was charged the opportunity of listening to this out of space signals and she actually got to hear a signal and in later years to force humanity to face the biggest threat Ever. So in 2024, we already see repercussions from her actions. We have scientists actually taking their own lives. Science actually stops making sense. And the mysterious deaths of all the scientists is being investigated by this ex-cop Dan Shi. And what is actually linking the deaths of these scientists all together is this virtual reality game. Most of them have this thing in their possession. So when Vera Ye actually takes her life, we get to meet her ex-students, a group of friends. We have Saw. We have Jack, we have Augie, Jean, and Will. Soon after the funeral of Vera, Augie starts seeing this countdown that she's the only person that can actually see. And then an unknown woman approaches her and tells her that the only way to stop this thing, she didn't even tell the woman that, oh, this is what I'm saying. You know? The woman said the only way to stop this thing is to actually stop your work that you are doing on nanofibers. And she should not let this countdown actually get to zero before she decides to quit her job. This is an eight part series that's currently streaming on Netflix. It was actually created by David Benio, D.B. Weiss, and it's based on a Chinese novel by Liu Itxin. It was interesting to notice that this is actually the second time that this book has been adapted. The first time it was adapted to Chinese TV, and that happened just in 2020. Well, I'm not saying that the series yet. It's some person that they really like it, yeah. as opposed to the Netflix's own. Although yeah. Netflix has a bigger budget and the VFX use, everything used is much realistic and nicer, but they really stuck to the story in the book. They even described Netflix on as shallow. For this series, I think it started off really slowly and I really like the series. I don't want Netflix to cancel the show in any way. One of the reasons why a lot of people, especially the Chinese viewers, do not really like the series because they said, oh, the setting actually changed from China to England. And I think that makes sense. If they had just set it maybe in England alone, it's not going to be really bad. But I still understand why they took it so China as well, like, okay, we're paying homage to the origins of the story. This series, I don't know. I enjoyed watching it. I was interested in seeing it to the end. I was really calm watching the series. If I'm going to think about it critically, I don't think the series is really that nice. The game part, they were my favorite scenes where they had to wear the helmet and they transferred it to this game. It was really nice. But if we're going to be talking about a strong season one, I wouldn't really say it was really a strong season one like that because it just really left a lot of things open. It's good to leave things open like that, but at the same time, I just feel like, okay, just, I just have to say, like, this is the three boy forever I'm waiting for. I've seen better science fiction. I'm not even a fan of science fiction like that. The countdown was just at the background. From what I read about the book, the entire thing is based on one person. So him and the detective were like working hand in hand. But so they kind of split the scientists into the five friends. And so they didn't really know what to do with all of the characters in my own world opinion because Will is sick. So he's just kind of on the background. Jack is really there for comic relief and I really like him. Oggy, we wanted more from Oggy. Yeah, when Oggy was one who started in the countdown and she really gives up that. I'm not going to say that Jane is not, not deserving of her own character or her own role, but I felt like Oggy was going to be the one playing what Jane Oggy gave off because yeah. she gave that energy that we typically see that oh, this person is going to be yeah. forefront and center in everything. But Oggy, after the countdown, she just laid back a little bit and she didn't want to really get involved she was withdrawing herself the way the characters were built and portrayed you will not fall in love with them i, I like you don't care about them uh, yeah i like that because he, he was funny so just had the background for a long time yeah and suddenly then suddenly it's brought to the forefront yeah. 
I thought there would be more detective stuff because that's how the series started. There was so much potential for that detective to shine. Yeah. But at the same time, I just feel like the series was not all that. I think we've seen better sci-fi. I get what you're saying for the, the use of the characters. I don't think they use them very well. It's very orgy then. The way you feel about so I also feel the same way about Jin's boyfriend. But Jack was like my only favorite character here. My least favorite character has to be Raj, the boyfriend, because of the way they introduced him to the character. Even so, but my, even, even my least favorite even character is Saul. The, when the series started, we saw mm. Saw and Vera, they used yeah, to work together like, and they were was shutting was down every project. So I don't think what they did to that character was fair. So they did not really make him very likable. Even his relationship with Augie, there's just yeah, so much yeah. going on Those in the series. Out. Just opening your mind to see that, yeah. oh, this could happen at any, any time. Case. And it's crazy. I'm just going to rate it 3 out of 5. I'll give it 4, but I really want the episode to be the series. I can't wait for the Santi to come. Like, yeah. I just want to see what it's going to look like. I like the last scene of the series. Yeah. I really like it. So, how is this thing going to play out in 400 yeah. years' time? Thank you guys for the Renew 3 body problem. Until next time. Bye.